I was good, you know, um, hear a little bit of noise, you know, a couple fans yelling your name, you know, so it felt good. What was it just like to be at training camp again after an interesting atmosphere last year? Um, it, it's good, you know, be back with the guys, getting some work again. Um, so anytime you're back in football, you know, it, it's good, even though camp's a little long, but, you know, you got to enjoy it, so. Um, just when I was here, you know, we worked out a little bit together, but, you know, he, he, you know, he needed to step up big time for us this year. So, um, you know, he, he, it's that leadership role for him now. So he, he got to be ready, got to be prepared because, you know, we depended on him. So, um, you know, he, he put the body working and, and it's going to pay off this year, hopefully. So. In your experience, and I, he played obviously a different type of defensive tackle when he was in Detroit. Yeah. So he needed to be a little bit bigger, eat more space, essentially. When, when you guys are asking guys to like gap and a half, does that require a leaner frame a little bit? Um, no, as long as you can, you know, still hold your double teams, do what you need to do. Because, um, you know, you might play a three, you might play a shade, you know, you might play a four, you might play a five. So you just got to be able to transition to wherever they pitch you and, you know, be able to, you know, hold your own. So. Oh, that's that's every year. You know, anytime you get young guys that's coming in, you want to, you know, trying to teach them something or just show them how you work so they can try to gravitate to that. So, um, you know, because the more guys you got stepping up, um, that's, that's able to play at a high level, the, the better chance you got to win. You, know? you can't depend on one or two guys. You need everybody. So, um, you know, we need these guys to keep, continue to get better. So, um, come game time, they can be ready. You know, for, for whenever we need them for. So. I've been great, you know, been fun, you know, um, you know, you love working for a guy, always got energy, um, you know, he motivates, but at the same time, make you laugh, so um, I've been great so far. So. Crazy you also like being up there. What, what can you achieve here that you can't achieve up there? Uh, well, you can achieve the same thing because you, you're still here working. You know, anything, you, you're just not at home. You know, you kind of miss landing in your own bed, but um, you just lock in. You know, you, you're here with your guys, and, you know, it's, it's football and meetings all day, and then you, when you, by the time you're in your room, you sleep and then doing everything over again. So it's just, I guess anything, you, you're a little bit more locked in here. So that's about it. Aaron Terrell made a couple of nice plays today, Terrell Burton. Yeah. What, what does he give you guys as a defense when he's in full strength? Well, we, we see what he was doing last year when he was healthy, when he was playing. So um, to see him back healthy again out there doing the same things he was doing before he got injured, you know, you're excited about it. You know, you know he's going to continue to get better. Um, he's still a young guy, you know, with a lot of potential. Um, he's hungry. And, and for the first day out there flying around making plays, interceptions for touchdowns, so that's what you want to see, you know. Um, and it's only day one, so, you know. Aaron, this is the first time we've had a chance to talk to you since April. Um, what was it like in what you went through in uh, Pittsburgh? I was just training, man. I ain't really worried about nothing else. You know, I was just training, getting myself prepared, you know, for this upcoming season and wasn't worried about too much other stuff. So I was just working and staying with my family, you know. So. But, but you know what I'm asking about, right? The, I was just training, you know. I, I, I ain't going to speak on that because I was just training, just, you know, spending time with my kids and my family. So, yeah. So you're, you're past that. Right? Yeah, that's, 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 I'm, I was training with my family and doing just, you know, staying out of trouble. Hey, Aaron, um, a guy like Jordan Fuller obviously thrown into it last year. Um, what growth, if any, have you seen year over year for him? I know it's just a short sample size so far. Well, it's, it's more of a leadership role for him this year. You know, he's the guy that's, you know, getting us huddled up and caught, giving us the plays now. So, um, you know, um, the year he had last year, he's going to build off that and, and now growing into a leadership role. You know, he got a lot more pressure, a little, lot more, a little bit more on his shoulders, but I think he can handle it. And um, we, we trust what he can do, his, his abilities and his leadership. So, um, you know, expecting big things from him. When a guy gets that green dot on his helmet like that, uh, is that like a, a rite of passage at all? Um, do you guys make a, a big deal about it at all? Or is it just stick it on and go? Well, you kind of respect him for what he did last year. You know, he made a name for himself. So, um you know, he made a lot of big plays for us last year to help us win a lot of games. So we continue. We, we want him to do the same thing this year, if not more. So um, he, he earned that himself by what he did on the football field. So. Aaron, there was a scene from the off-season program when the rookies first met you, and they were kind of like 
had stars in their eyes, and they say that you're someone they've obviously looked up to for many years now. Like as you're kind of getting to be one of the older, older guys, some of these really young guys look up to. What's that like for you? And what's it like when they when they meet you and they have those stars? I, I guess it's cool. You know, um, I'm just a normal person, but you know. Um, now, anytime you get the opportunity to, you know, meet your, your new teammates and they respect you and, and, and look up to you in a, in a um, role model type way, you know, you want to respect that and, and, and enjoy it and, you know, trying to teach them some type of, you know, some type of game as far as what they're coming into, what they can get better at so, you know, so we can bring them along so they can have success in this league. So. Do you need to tell them that you're a normal dude or do they just eventually say No, they, they know. You know, I, I, ain't, I ain't nobody special, but, you know, it is. Aaron, what's it like having fans out here yelling at you guys? It was good. It was, you know, we played a whole year last year when it was quiet. Now hearing some fans yelling your name is a little different, but it, and we're enjoying it. You know, it's good to be here um, practicing, getting to enjoy it with the fans again. Um, so it's pretty cool. Do you notice being dirty? Huh? Do you notice? Do you feel? Yeah, I'm getting older. I feel it. You know, I'm aches and pains last a little longer, so I definitely feel it. It was as good as last year's defense was, but all the changes. For you, not, not specifically you, but for you to this defense, what's the thing you want to make sure that you can improve with all these changes? Uh, well, if it, I'll, uh... It's change, it just, I feel like it's sim similar to what we did last year. You know, I feel like we had a lot of young guys that needed to step up, and it was like we didn't know what to expect, and we haven't had in a year where we were you know, the best defense in the National Football League. So it's kind of similar to what we did last year. We got another, a, 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 some more young guys need to step up and make big plays for us that we depended on, and, and I believe that they can do it. And, um, you know, we're going to build off what we did last year, but, if, if you know, try to improve and be that much better. So. And, and Michael Brockers, big shoes to fill. Yeah. Yeah, but we, like I said, we, we got guys that need to step up big time. You know, we definitely going to miss Brock a lot. You know, me personally, we was talking about that earlier. You know, I've been, I, mean, I played seven years with Brock since St. Louis to L.A., so um, I, I was just used for him being there. So just him being gone, you know, it's definitely going to be a, a big void. But, you know, A'shaun going to step up big time for us and hold it down and, um, and make a lot of plays for us. So. Did you have an unspoken thing with him, with Brockers, where you guys knew where, what you were going to be doing? As far as? Unspoken, like? You didn't have to talk about things. You just sort of yeah, because we kind of yeah, we, we kind of know what we play. You know, like I said, it, a couple of years he was my nose tackle for years. Then he went to a four eye, five eye. I mean five five. So, you know, you kind of know how to rush. You know how he you know how I rush. You know how to play off me. So it was just you know, you play with somebody long enough. You just you just you know, yin and yang, I guess. All right, let's start. Yep. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.